Greetings! In this video we will build one more abstract data type that uses a linked list abstract data type for storage. Stacks and queues are great, but what if we need a little bit more randomness in our list processing? That's the idea behind the back abstract data type. You can add items to the back just the same way you do with uh, stacks and queues, but uh, when we remove an item we want to get a random item from the list. Sort of like a black bag where you can insert numbers or names, shake the bag and then you draw one out and you don't want the items to come out in a predefined order but a random order like drawing for a lottery. It's different from just using a random number generator because it, it will only return a random item from the items placed in the bag. Now let's define the interface. The bag has two operations. Insert, which inserts an item into the bag, and draw, which draws a random item from the back. Items are stored in a linked list and we put that in the, into the private section to prevent users of our ATT from directly accessing the data. Inserting is easy enough. We can just use the same method as for the stack and the queue. Let's uh, go ahead and take that from the from the queue, just like that. We'll add add it to the uh, top of the list with the uh, function add head. When it comes to drawing from the back, we cannot use the methods used in stack or queue, where we removed either the head or the tail of the list. We want to remove a random item from the list. We can do that by traversing the list by a random number of steps. This random number of steps we can obtain from the random number generator. As our list has limited number of nodes, we must limit the range of a random number to that of the number of nodes. So let's start by adding a variable n to our class to hold so we can determine how many items <coughs> there are in the list. We then initialize this variable to zero in a constructor. And we should increment this variable every time we add something to the back and now let's start adding a body for our draw function and uh, let's just start by decrementing this uh, this number now we know how many items there are in our list uh, we can obtain a random number in the range of 0 to n minus 1 by using the integer uh, reminder operator. Using this random number, we can now remove the rth node from the linked list. Or can we? No, we just have remove head or remove tail. We need a new function for a linked list to remove a node at a certain point in the middle of the list. So let's uh, put this on our eyes for a while and go ahead and uh, update our linked list. Add this new functionality.
we are removing the hat uh, node, then uh, previous will still be null because um, then the node index would have been zero and we've never been given uh, any value to the previous. We initialize it to null and uh, if it doesn't uh, traverse the list at all, just stays at the hat, then, uh, then previous will be null. So that's how we know. Otherwise, <coughs> we will be removing removing <coughs> a node from the middle of the list. T is pointing to the node. Previous is uh, pointing to the previous node. And uh, our operation is to uh, take this pointer here and make it point to the, uh, to the next node behind T, which is uh, the node that T next points to. So previous next becomes t next so uh, this pointer here is uh, changed and now somehow points uh, to uh, to that node here like this then we retrieve the data from the uh, from from our node here t and uh, we delete the t, return the value. So this node t has been removed. And that's our new list. Now we got the remove, remove node uh, code fixed in, in our uh, link list. Let's close that up and look back at the the back code. And uh, here is the code for for removing. We we uh, we uh, we have updated the draw function, draw operation of the back, so it uh, gets a random number in the range of uh, zero to n minus one. And we use this random number, which is an index into our list, to uh, remove at that position, the node at that position. So either the hat or one of the other nodes in the list. And we uh, re reduce the n to uh, reflect that we removed the node, return the uh, value that we got from this function here. And uh, then all is left is to write some code to test the code, test the uh, back. Um, as always, when we use the random number generator, we need to uh, to uh, use the seed seed function to seed the uh, random number generator, and because we seed with the time, we also need to include the time header. So this f this uh, include statement is needed, and. Uh, and then there's nothing left but to insert three numbers here, 15, 20, and five. And then we draw them out in this for statement here and print them out. So we, we should get uh, these three numbers in a random order. Let's try that. And this, this time we get five, 20, 15. Let's run it again. And now we get a different uh, order, 15, 5, and 20. So, that is our back, and uh, thank you for watching.